Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kevin Johnson, and in today's video, we're going to talk about augmented reality. So I know you artists out there have heard a lot about um, the metaverse, AI, uh, mid-journey, and, and things of that nature. So as an artist, I've always been into technology, and one of the things I always wanted to try to do with my art is do something a little bit different. Um, first, I tried virtual reality, and I realized that a lot of people didn't have access to the VR headset. So, but I do know that everybody have access to cell phones. So using your cell phone along with augmented reality will give you the ability to view your art in the metaverse. So today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I took one of my paintings and I turned it into an augmented reality project. So if you like what you see in this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and I'm gonna take you step-by-step. Step. Okay, so for um, this next AR project that I'm working on, I wanted to use one of my oil paintings, and most of the projects I've been using um, all have really been with my oil paintings. I'm a tra normally a traditional artist, but I also have some digital skill sets. I know how to use software like uh, Maya, 3ds Max, After Effects, uh, um, things like that. But being an artist, sometimes since we're so busy, we want to be able to have the ability to do, do things with a quick turnaround. Okay, so the goal was for me to take this image and turn it into an AR project. Now, that said, there's a couple of apps that I use that are available through the App Store. Uh, I downloaded to my iPad. And one of the ones I'm going to be working with today is called um, Motion Leap, which actually you can take your images and you can add some type of animation or some type of effect to them. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you those apps on my iPad. Oh, sorry, also this painting is nine by 12. <clears throat> okay, so let me get into my iPad real quick. So the process, like I said, is very simple. Um, using this app from the App Store, which is called uh, Motion Leap. The other one I would use if I was gonna do the video editing um, within here would also be another program called um, Video Leap. So currently I'm gonna use Motion Leap. And so I had already started working on this project. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start this project over and create another one. If I can get rid of this one, let's go ahead and add that image again so we can start it all over, okay? All right, so this is the image of my painting. Uh, I know in art to vive um, you wanna match your image to the same size as your video, um, just you know, as your painting, and my painting is nine by 12, so when I import my video into art to vive I'm gonna scale it up so it can match the size of my painting, my original painting. Okay, so now we're in Motion Leap. And in Motion Leap, it has different effects that you can use. Um, going across, you have the animate ability, you have elements you can put overlays, um, you can even add music to this, other effects. Uh, you can play with the sky, that means the background a little bit. You can add water. And I tend to use this one called 3D Motion, so that's what I'm gonna use now. So in the 3D motion area, you have a few effects that you can add, things like this right here with the spots, it's moving back and forth, you have butterflies, and this one kind of shakes pretty fast back and forth. But I prefer more time, nine times out of 10, using this effect right here with the clouds. Um, you can keep the clouds if you want to. I don't want to use the clouds. So you have a slider that adjusts, that you can adjust to get more clouds or less clouds. I'm gonna take it down to zero clouds. But I do want to keep the animation going that I have right here, okay? So once you add this effect, you can also add other effects. So I'm gonna get out of this part. And so what I wanna do now, I'm gonna add some type of element and keep this motion at the same time. So on this tab, it looks like the FM um, icon. It says element, click on that. And you have a lot of options available to you to add to your animation or to your image. Um, what I'm gonna do today, I wanna add butterflies and probably seen some of those. Um, images I've posted on the Facebook group page. Um, I tend to add butterflies to my paintings, but this one, since I don't have anything like that, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and I'm gonna add this butterfly here, the monarch looking butterfly. 
and you can scale it and slide it up to position you want. And it comes with animation. Let me hit the play button again so we can play it. And so there we go. We have that butterfly animating. And that's just one element. So I'm going to add, some, you can add something else on top of this as well. I want to add another butterfly, but this time I want to add the blue butterfly. And there's a little icon right here. You can either delete it or you can flip it. I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to bring this butterfly up. And I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to put it on the show. Okay? So just keeping it real simple. Next thing I do, I'm going to add something else. I'm going to actually get out of this element thing. And I'm going to add um, some type of overlay. So once again, you have a lot of choices of overlays. I'm going to click through some of them real quick so you can see. You have something like the rain. You have more butterflies you can add. You have like the lights. You can add colorful lights. Um, I might keep that. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I like that pretty nice, okay? So this is the start of the project. Like I said, I like to try to keep things simple and clean as possible. Um, and I'm gonna show you another process of the project that you can do to give it more depth. Right now, this is just the basic layer that I'm gonna use in the video. It's gonna give you the playback and art vibe. Uh, I like Art Vibe because I've tried some other um, AR apps and so far that what I've seen, Art Vibe kind of handles the video playback process better than some of the ones I've tried before, okay? So with that said, my next step is going to be to go ahead and add this to my Google Drive because the file is going to be kind of large. So let me go ahead and export this. So we export it and once again in Motion Lead, you can change the duration of your video play. I like to tend to stick to like 30 seconds, 40 seconds, but we're gonna go with 36 in between. And you got different sizes that you can export your videos out. You can export them um, for social media, different aspect ratios and stuff like that. You can export it as an animated GIF straight to Instagram or what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna export it as a video. I'm gonna keep the original size because I'm, once again, I wanna match this up to the size of my painting. So I'm gonna hit export. And right now it's exporting my video. Once it's export, I'm gonna save it to my files. And once I save it to my files, I'm gonna upload this to my Google Drive. Okay, and tune into the next step. All right, so just now finished downloading. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna save it to my files. I'm gonna save it. And there we have it, it's saved. So my next step after that is to take this video and, and take it up to uh, my Google Drive. And then I'm gonna download it to my PC and then I'm going to do some other things to it before I upload it to Art5. All right, so we'll do that in the next step. Okay, so for this part of the video, what I'm doing now, I imported all my assets into um, Art5. <clears throat> I brought in my um, cloud, which is a PNG file that I created in Photoshop from another painting. I just did the lasso and I cut it out and deleted the background and exported it as a um, PNG file. Same thing with the mask below. I'm sure you've seen that in one of my other videos that I've posted on the um, Art Divide Facebook page. <coughs> and also um, imported the video and the original image in the back, which is of my um, painting. A photo of my painting and so just the video I had to scale that up to match the size of my painting which is um, 9 by 12 and I did that in Art of Vive with the selection tools okay um, to the right right here is where I had to import my files of course Art of Vive only allows you to upload three videos and six up to six images as part of the layer system and so I filled those slots up with just what I needed um, going back to the video once I export the video from um, motion leap I had to convert that to um, an mp4 video and I did that in Adobe um, file um, Kodak converter and converted that to an mp4 file okay so Everything is set up in here on its own layer. And so now what I'm ready to do, I'm ready to go ahead and save this. And Art of Vibe has to, you know, do the calculations and stuff like that to um, process everything.
Okay, so now that the tutorial is over, I'm going to show you guys, since you stayed to the end, I'm going to show you what it looked like on my painting. I'm going to hang my painting on the wall. I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to get the open up the Art of Vive app and it's going to trigger the um, animation for AR that we created in the computer on my artwork. So for the app, for Art of Vive, you can download that app from the Apple Store or you can download it from Google Play and the app is free. So if you want to um, try this out for yourself, you can go to the Art to Vive website. You can sign up, they have a free um, sign up or you can pay month to month. I chose the free app so I can test it out. And as always, as an artist, like I said, just remember that this is a tool you can try. Just put it in your toolbox and you might not want to try now, but it might be something you want to try later. All right, so now let's get to the video so I can show you exactly what the augmented reality looks like on my artwork. And once again, if you like what you saw, please subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time.